What's up, YouTube? Today... I'm gonna be making a little video, kind of like a driving around in the car style video of a question I get asked quite a bit. But first, I gotta go get some gas. Low fuel, don't know if I'm gonna make it. We'll see. neighbors hate me because of this. They're nice. Alright, so the question I get asked all the time, more than anything, has to be so how'd you how'd you become Instagram famous not sure if everybody knows but I run Corvette lifestyle on Instagram I'm at almost 127,000 followers so it's pretty big not a superstar or anything but it's working and like I said the main thing people ask is how did you do that well right around um, October of 2013 which was was the year after was it 2013 or 2012? Is it 2013 or 2012? I can't remember. I think it was 2012, uh, which was my senior year of high school. Everyone was like, you know how social media works. Everybody is looking for a like or a follow, just to be the next big thing, or just kind of whoever can grow the fastest and get the most likes is pretty much it's like a game. That's how it goes. Well. Right when the new Corvettes were still in like a render mode, uh, they were just showing spy photos and everything. I was like, I got the idea. I was like, huh, I feel like this is gonna take off. Maybe I could make a uh, Corvette Instagram. So I came up with the name C7 Corvettes for Instagram. Original, I know. The page started growing. I started hashtagging a lot. I started. Um, commenting on people's stuff. I would ask permission to post people's photos all the time, which you should definitely do. But I had like a little pre-typed out thing. It'd say, awesome photo. You know, it's those annoying comments you get. People are like, awesome photo. Or nice. Or the flame emoji. It's, it was one of those things. But it was this long paragraph. It was like, awesome photo. Can I please share it? If so, please send it to my email. C7Corvettes at gmail.com. Uh, I'd love to share your photo. Thanks. That was the main uh, way I did submissions back when I first started, just by email. I would, I wouldn't screenshot or anything like that. My page started growing to about, it got to 15k, like, like that. I was like, well, I'm the majority of my following is men. Let me preface this. I created the page to get myself more followers. I was like, maybe if I can get a big Instagram about a different topic, I can later change the name and uh, I can later change the name and make it my own Instagram. But then I got to thinking when I hit 15,000 followers, I was like, why, why are all these guys gonna wanna follow me? Pictures of like my daily life. So I was like, okay, what else can I do with the page with 15,000 followers? So. I just started to advertise or market a little bit. Be right back.
so my very first like advertising slash swapping slash like marketing deal not really a deal but a hookup was when I went to Camaro Five Fest in Houston, Texas. Um, I saw Adam's polishes there. Ciao, bro. Jeez. Almost got hit by a big dooley. I saw Adam's polishes tent set up there. And I was like, I've heard a lot about these guys, top of the line car care products. So, went over, actually I messaged them, started talking to them, and I met a guy named Matt which is an awesome guy, by the way. We became friends over the years. Uh, he hooked me up with some like detail spray or something silly while I was there. And then when I got home, he uh, told me to go on their website and click on the cart and grab some stuff. So he sent me some stuff. And then I kind of just traded some, uh, some Instagram posts for him, just kind of cleaning my car. Because at the time, they were the... Um, licensed car care provider for Chevrolet so started posting for them a little bit post pictures cleaning my car I post picture of Camaros every now and then if I didn't have enough Corvette pictures they started at Adams polishes <clears throat> and now today um, I've advertised for over 40 companies including Craftsman Valvoline Jay Leno's garage Adams Polishes, Corsa Performance, uh, Atlanta Custom Wraps, all of which are great people. Every company that I've ever advertised for, promoted, it's just been awesome to work with. I haven't had any problems. Um, Sometimes Diode Dynamics, another great, great, um, Diode Dynamics, another great company, which is, my car is totally outfitted with everything Diode Dynamics. The, um, dome lights, the trunk lights, the footwells, the fog lights, my um, switchbacks, uh, and my reverse lights, license plate lights, and my uh, tail lights. Now that I'm at 126,000 followers, by the end of this video I should be at about 127,000, I have met some great people, like I said, everyone that I've promoted, advertised with, marketed with have been awesome people. I've made I've made a ton of new friendships. The main group of people that I hang out with now are people that I've met off of Instagram, kinda. Uh, it's just been it's been a great ride. I've had I've had countless offers. I could I couldn't even give you a number of how many offers I've had to buy my page, Core by Lifestyle, which right at 116,000 followers, I changed the name to Corvette Lifestyle because the C7 Corvettes, I mean, they're doing great, but soon there's gonna be another Corvette coming out and I didn't wanna be behind the game still posting just the C7 year models. So at 116,000, I changed the name to Corvette Lifestyle, which I think has gone over pretty dang well. Just gives a new flavor to the page. Back to back to people buying my page, I've had tons, I can't give you a number, tons of offers to buy my page, thousands of, I've had offers of thousands of dollars, I've had offers for a hundred bucks, just lowball offers. Um, it's my roommate calling. Let me get this. Saw it, dude. What's up? Uh, four o'clock. No. We should eat. Yeah. You wanna get like Subway here in town? I really don't, I really don't want to drive to Denton. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ch Chiliosa, yeah. Yeah, dude, let's do it. I sway. Bye. So yeah, tons of offers. I've had a bunch of low ball offers and I've had some pretty decent offers um, into the thousands of dollars range. But like I've told, I've kindly denied every offer just because I can't, the, the Corvette Lifestyle Instagram has be, kind of become my baby, <clears throat> as crazy as that sounds. It's just kind of like my pride and joy, like I've worked, I've put so much work into it, I've put so much time, I've put so much research, if you will, just countless hours, and I've built so many friendships, I just feel like if I sold the page, I wouldn't be really throwing away the friendships or betraying, but like, I don't know, I just... 
I just wouldn't feel the same if I didn't have the page. It's just because that's what's connected me with all these great people. So I've kindly declined just because, just because of that sole fact. The people that I've been involved with, um, the companies that I've been involved with, all the great opportunities that the page has given me. Um, the page has given me a great inflow of cash. Yes, I do make money off the page. That's just that's just how it works. That's how that's how social media marketing works these days. But I'm I'm not really in it for the money because over the years of doing this page, I've learned that I actually have a deep passion for social media. I know that sounds weird too, but like social media marketing more so because I just I like I like seeing growth. So and pretty much what I do is I try to help all these companies grow. That's that's my main goal. That's why they come to me. They come to me so I can grow their business, I can grow their profits, and I can grow I can grow their sales, and I can grow their awareness. And me, I like to see progress. I could never let the page go. I just have too much work into it. And honestly, it's it's a great. It connects me to a lot of good opportunities, especially for the Corvette. So say, say if a company isn't comfortable with paying for ads, there's also another route to do it where they could just trade off a product with me. We could trade off product for advertisement space on my page. I've even met people from all the way up in Washington, a good friend named Josh, who had the Ermagerd C7, which is badass by the way, built by Quartz Performance in Arizona, I believe. Hopefully Arizona. He worked he works for a company and they opened up a store down here in the hometown of mine, Denton, which is where Speed 940 comes from. That's our area code here in Denton. He came down here, opened up a store, we met for lunch, we be, we've become great friends ever since. So he's hooked me up with a lot of connections and I'm really thankful for that. I did not know there was a water tower on here. I actually live in the outskirts of Denton. I call it Denton. I live in Ponder. Ponder is in BFE, way out in the middle of the country. And I did not know that there was a gigantic water tower on here. Huh. Pretty neat. Back to Instagram. But yeah, I'll probably never sell the Corvette Lifestyle Instagram. I also run Camaro 6. Camaro, the number six for the six gen Camaros. It's grown to about 42 and a half thousand followers. I rarely post on that, and I am so shocked that it's at 42 and a half thousand followers, which is crazy because, like I said, I rarely post. So it's because I spend most of my time on the Corvette page. I know most of you guys are thinking, well, why don't you just post on it? It takes 30 seconds to post a picture. When you're on your iPhone, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, your eyes start to burn. So, and I'm on it the majority of the time because I'm looking for new content to post, I'm looking for new people to meet, and I'm just looking to make the page better all the time. So, I've kind of handed the Camaro 6 page over to my sister, she's running that right now. You guys should definitely check out that page. We will be posting on it more, trying to get it larger, because it's, it's, it's just a great, it's a great outlet to have to be a part of and to have that under my belt is a pretty cool thing. If any of you guys are like Camaros, head over to Camaro 6 and follow them on Instagram or follow us on Instagram. Like I was saying with how companies will trade out um, product for posts on my page or advertising space on my page, I don't make a ton of money at my, at my real job. I wait tables at a restaurant I make decent money enough to provide for myself, pay rent, and pay all my bills. I wouldn't have the majority of the stuff on this Corvette if it was not for my Instagram. And I'll be the first to tell you guys that because I'm proud of that just like I would be to spend money. Because I've, I've worked this Instagram from the bottom up and I'm on it all the time. So I may not have or necessarily bought everything on my car but I've definitely worked for everything on this car. The headers, the cam, all the dial dynamic lights. Shout out to my friend Blake for taking some awesome photos for dial dynamics. The, what else do we have? The Haltech intake, the Corsa performance exhaust. Thank you, 
Sean at Course of Performance. Some people will be like, oh, you're so lucky you get the, you get all this stuff from Instagram. Well, I work pretty damn hard for all of it because it, it, <laughs> people, there, a lot of work goes into Instagram. Believe it or not, I'm probably going to catch flag for it, but a lot of work does go into Instagram. But I've learned a lot more work goes into YouTube. I'm working on getting my YouTube big, so make sure you please subscribe to Speed940, the Patreon right now. Subscribe. Or just exit out of full screen and click the thumbs up because that's how the YouTube algorithm works and it's going to help me out a lot. So I would really appreciate that. That's pretty much how I became Instagram famous. I'm at 126,000 followers now, I'm getting thousands and thousands of impressions. I've advertised for over 45 companies. Uh, I own a C6 Corvette. I have a very special new mod coming soon. I think you guys are gonna wanna see it. Comment below what you think it's gonna be. It's a mod that this car is definitely missing. To me, the car is tastefully modded right now. Except there's just one thing that's still stock on this car that I have to change. Have to. I'll give you a clue, it's not performance. It's, it's aesthetic. It's aesthetic. It's just about the looks right now. I can't afford uh, any more go, go fast parts right now. So I'm stuck with stage four, cammed LS3. I'm at about 45 to the wheels right now. That's cool, I guess. Not the fastest on the block, so. But I love the chop. Oh boy, I can't hit this biker. So that's how I got Instagram famous. Uh, if I can do it, me, Dakota, if I can do it, anybody can do it. So the main thing is consistency. Post, 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 hashtag, comment on people's stuff, comment genuine comments. All this, this copy and paste stuff I learned does not work and it's annoying. Nobody likes that. Comment genuine stuff, make friendships. You'll get, re you'll get repetitive customers, you'll get repetitive followers. Um, I notice on my, on my, uh, on my likes, it's, it's always like, I can just notice people that, that are always liking stuff and that's because I've became friends with them, I've commented on their stuff, I've complimented their Corvettes because they're all badass, they're, they're all, I'm jealous of all of them mostly. Check your analytics, always check your analytics. So the best part about the analytics is it allows you to <clears throat> target your consumer base, meaning I can, I can send a specific target to people in Los Angeles because Los Angeles and Houston are what my analytics shows to be my two most popular cities. So I'm gonna try and send my stuff in the, in the proper time zone that is popular for people in Los Angeles or popular for pe people in Houston or New York or so forth. So it gives you the option to hit your time zones correctly, the option to see if an ad is going to do good. Maybe you didn't make your ad creative enough or easy enough to read or simple enough to read or maybe you didn't make it catch your eye quick enough because that's how it is on Instagram. It's like this. If it's not going to catch your eye, they're not going to stop and they're going to continue to scroll. So that's a bit appealing. Just take advantage of the uh, Instagram analytics. Just Facebook has it also and YouTube even has it. So those tools are there for the advantage. <clears throat> And that's how a lot of people get successful is they study those analytics and then they they capitalize on top of them. Recap, <clears throat> started my Instagram 2012, 13, I can't remember, senior year of high school. Started it as C7 Corvettes, got it big enough to 126,000 followers, changed my name to Corvette Lifestyle. It's been booming ever, ever since. Will not sell it. I've met too many great people, the connections are too good. It's too much fun. I. I, I love what I do, so that's pretty much how I became Instagram famous. Famous. Instagram famous. I have had some people recognize me here in town though, so that's cool. Like, hey, it's Corvette Lifestyle. Yeah, that's me. If you have a small Instagram going right now and you don't think it's going to go anywhere, stay at it. Be consistent. Post genuine comments. Post, post, post. Use your hashtags. Research your hashtags. Don't use stuff that people aren't gonna be researching. Make sure you use hashtags that people are going to click on. People aren't gonna click on, uh, for instance, me saying, 
hashtag vlogging in my red Corvette. Nobody's going to be searching for that. So you want to do something that is a little bit popular. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If it's your first time in, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Helps me out a lot. Be sure to follow Corvette Lifestyle, Speed 940, and Camaro 6 on Instagram. If you want to follow my personal, it's at Dakota Cantrell. Have a great day, guys. Oh, and how can I end this video without giving you guys a pull? Thank mm -hmm. you.